In the annals of history, few places are as synonymous with exile as the remote island of St. Helena. Nestled in the South Atlantic Ocean, this volcanic island, just 47 square miles in size, gained notoriety as the final home of one of history's most famous exiles, Napoleon Bonaparte. St. Helena's story as a place of exile began in the early 19th century when the British government decided to banish Napoleon to a place of isolation. In 1815, after his defeat at the Battle of Waterloo, Napoleon was sent to St. Helena, a world away from the grandeur and power he had once wielded as the Emperor of France, the island's rugged terrain, unforgiving climate, and sheer isolation made it an ideal choice for imprisoning one of Europe's most formidable military leaders. On St. Helena, Napoleon lived out the final six years of his life in exile, confined to Longwood House, where he wrote his memoirs and engaged in intellectual pursuits, but St. Helena's history as a place of exile extends beyond Napoleon. It was also used by the British to exile Zulu King Dinuzulu Kasechweo and over 5,000 Boer prisoners during the Second Anglo-Boer War.